What's going on everybody? This is Joe and I am here once again for another Zendikar Rising pre-release pack opening. Uh, this is our third of eight pre-release pack openings on this channel, and again, there may be more, but there likely won't than eight. Um, and we're not opening any of the ones that we're looking that you're looking at, although those will be open in the coming weeks. This week I'm opening this one. If you missed last week's video, or really the video before it, you should watch both of them. They are very different videos, but very interesting nonetheless. Last week was all about duplicates. Um, whereas the week before was all about blue. So, uh, yeah, interesting how that all worked out. We will take all of this stuff out and we can talk about that. And the D20 that we got was the white D20. So again, I was not fully aware of uh, what's going on with this green sparkly one over here. Um, but with this white one added to the mix, I'm I'm possibly more confused. I'm not exactly sure. Like, maybe there's one of each of the five main colors, and then there's, like, this green sparkly one for the set. I, I couldn't tell you. Um, but, hey, if you know, leave it in the comments below. There is also this insert, as we've seen, gear up for adventure, so it tells you about, like, the core weaponry and stuff that, that is used to scale the uh, Skyclaves, which is awesome. I love that bit of flavor there. <clears throat> in this video, there is going to be a Magic the Gathering Arena code given away at some random point in the video, so stay tuned for that. And there is this uh, insert, this divider that you can put to separate your sideboard from your deck, and we have the packs that we will leave on the side and open one by one. But first, the first thing that we have to look at is our promo foil rare, and it is the Squad Commander. It's very cool uh, foiling on that. I like that a lot. It's got the stamp on it. It um, The subject of it is in foil. The Squad Commander himself, itself, I am unsure, themselves. Um, but their their armor, oh my god, their armor and foil looks so cool. I know you can see that. That is nuts. That always makes the picture better. I'll say that a million times and a million times more. Always makes it better. And this card is fine. Um, it it makes warriors, So, but it cares about party. So that's something to be aware of when we look through to see, you know, for fun, to see what kind of a deck we would make. I always am interested in feedback, so keep your eyes peeled. Um, and give me your opinions on that as it comes up. We have a Cliffhaven Sellsword, a Teeter Peak Ambusher, Adventure Awaits, Blood Beckoning, a Marasa Brute. Every creature that we've opened so far has been a warrior. Everyone. Ah, there's one. A Nimana Sky Dancer is a rogue. That's nice. Cunning Geyser Mage for a wizard. Okay. Skyclave Sentinel. Vanquish the Weak. Good card. Risen Riptide. The colors on this uh, look good. I like it. Uh, there's There's been a lot of variants. I don't know if people have actually been opening physical cards during uh, the pandemic times, but um, yeah, the, some of the colors on these cards are drastically different than the exact same card, um, but from a different pack or, or you know, whatever, a different kit. Um, very interesting to see. But these look uh, different than what I've seen them before. Not bad, just different. That's a Risen Riptide. We have a Canyon Jerboa as our first uncommon. Adorable little Canyon Jerboa here. An Iridescent Horn Beetle. Also really cool colors on this card. And a Salundi Vision, which flips into a Salundi Isle. Cool, cool card. I like it. This is a cool flip card. A lot of these modal dual face cards are very nice. Uh, behind that, our first, or next, I should say, rare or mythic, is... A Nahiri's Lithoforming. I, this card's fine. In a, um, I don't know, in a, this has to go in a very particular deck, and I don't know that I love this for limited. I won't lie to you. Behind it, a mountain, a very awesome looking mountain, and a Drake token. Very cool looking Drake token. Cool colors. Again, very nice. Okay. Well, speaking of Nahiri, for Nahiri's Lithoforming, it's a Nahiri pack. You can see these packs are kind of like squashed at the top. You see that? That's fine. They just kind of get shoved in the in the kits. I get it. But um, the cards, as of yet, have not been damaged. I guess I'll knock on wood. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that is, um, that's neither here nor there. Scavenged Blade to start. Chilling Trap is next. Smite the Monstrous. Blood Price. Kaz Kazandu Nectar Pot. I don't know why I couldn't read that card. I know what it says. Dauntless Unity, Highborn Vampire, 
Tajuru Snarecaster, Royal Eruption, very cool. Strength of Solidarity, Roiling Regrowth is a very good uncommon, and it's our first. Merfolk Falconer is second, nice. And the Akum Warrior, or the Akum Teeth, or flipping into the Akum Teeth. But you get to pick which one you want it to be. Very interesting, and that's our third and final uncommon, which means our next rare or mythic is... A Wayward Guide Beast. 2-2 two, two, Trample Haste for 1, but when it deals combat damage to a player, we bounce a land, and we have to do it. So obviously it wants to be in a landfall deck, but even then, like if you play this on turn 1, you're just... Turn 2, you play your first land again. <sighs> Interesting. Uh, it can go in a, an aggro deck, I guess, but with our Roiling Regrowth, it seems like, you know, we could make um, a green-red landfall deck, maybe? There's not very compelling reasons for us to do so. We do have two red rares so far, but they're not super impactful, I won't lie. Behind it, we have just a mountain and another um, flip indicator card that you can use to substitute if you are not playing with uh, opaque sleeves. We have a Jace pack next. Inside of this Jace pack, ooh, we start with an Into the Royal. Very nice. Good one to start with. Angel Heart Protector, Synchronized Spellcraft, Tajuru Blightblade, Oblivion's Hunger, Dauntless Unity, Highborn Vampire, Tajuru Snarecaster, Royal Eruption again, very cool. A Strength of Solidarity. Umara Mystic is our first uncommon, very interesting. A Blood Chief's Thirst is the second. I mean, removal's important, I've heard. Maybe once or twice, you know? Ooh, and a sh uh, showcase version of the Skyclave Geopede. This is a very cool piece of art. Again, I have not seen these ahead of time, so when I see a uh, showcase version for the first time, it's for the first time, and this is this is awesome. I like these alt arts a lot. Really, really nice. Behind the Skyclave Geopede, our next rare or mythic is... A mythic in Seagate Restoration, which flips into a Seagate Reborn. Beautiful art on this card. I don't love these mythics as much. They're very expensive. I mean, for sealed, possible. It's triple blue, though. Um, and we have good red, and we opened that Umara Mystic, which is blue-red, but... They, none of those cards go together. <laughs> like, they just don't. I, I will say the Skyclave GOP does want to go in the red-green landfall deck I was hinting at, um, but that obviously then means that the Seagate uh, Restoration does not get in, but it's very cool. It's a Mythic. We didn't get a Mythic in the last kit, so this is nice to have one in this one. Behind that, as you saw, a Swamp and a copy token for the Jace Planeswalker in the set. Oh, okay, or any permanent that can be copied, so like from um, the Mythic, uh, the Lithoform engine. Speaking of Jace, it's a Jace pack. Inside of this Jace pack, we have a Scorch Rider to start. Whoops, I'll, I don't want to skip past Into the Royal, that's a very good card. All right, that's so weird, this kit. All right, um, we have an Angel Heart Protector, Synchronized Spellcraft. Subtle Strike, Might of Marasa, Nissa's Zendikon, a Grotag Bug Catcher, Prowling Felidar, that's a good landfall card, Iridescent Horn Beetle is our first uncommon, Wind Rider Wizard is the second, okay, and a McKindy Stampede flipping into a McKindy Mesa's is our third uncommon. Very interesting. This this pack and the pack before it kind of um, are making me feel like it's leaning closer to red, uh, blue, red spells. I don't know if I'm right, <clears throat> but we shall see. Uh, and so our next rare or mythic is a Legion Angel. That's a pretty cool card. I like that. Um, we don't, we're not likely going to have more than one, but who the hell knows? So that second ability is kind of useless, but it's a four mana, four, three flyer, which is nice. Behind it, I believe we have a foil. We do. It is a foil uncommon kite sail cleric. Very nice foiling. I like that a lot. The um, 
the kind of like trail that it's leaving behind it, that it, it's flying uh, in, looks very, very nice. I like that a lot. Very nicely done. And it's a pretty good uncommon as well. So I like that. Behind it, we have an island and another uh, flip stand-in indicator card. We have a Nahiri pack next. More Nahiri. Okay. That's pretty cool. And Nahiri has for us a Farsight Adept to start, Tormenting Voice, Negate, Dauntless Survivor, Expedition Skulker, Gnarled Colony, Prowling Felidar again. Ooh, the Showcase Dreadworm art. Oh my god, that is so cool. Okay, I don't love this card in general, but the art is sick on this one. Wow! We have an Expedition Diviner, another uh, Alt Art Skyclave Squid. We've gotten this one before. That is sick. Very, very nice. Wow, so good looking. Oh my god. Uh, a Merfolk Falconer is our next uncommon. Our first uncommon, I should say. Marasa Root Grazer is the second. And a Bayin Vale flipping into a Bayin Coast. <sighs> this is tough. I'm definitely going to be looking for some advice here, folks. I'm not going to lie to you on what, what you would play. And our next rare or mythic is a Felidar Retreat. So here's another Landfall card, but in white. So I was mentioning red-green for Landfall. Maybe it's red-white for Landfall. Who knows? Um, but it could also, like I said, still be blue-red spells. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Like I said, I would love people's opinions on this one in the comments below. Obviously, we have one more pack to go, so chill on that. But still, keep it in mind. We have a Plains and another Indicator card for a flip card. So, before our final pack, there's one thing that I promised that we would do that we have not done yet, and that is give away this code to MTG Arena. Obviously, it's not there yet, but I'm going to flip it over in a second. Just a reminder, if you have used a code for MTG Arena already from a Zendikar Rising pre-release pack, you will not be able to use this one. You can only use one per account, so please be aware of that. Don't waste your time. And if you do get this code and it works for you, please feel free to shout it out in the comments. But this is our way to say thank you to all of you for watching anything and everything that we do here on Geek For All. We really hope that you're enjoying everything that we are putting out, and we are always welcome to feedback if there is something more that you would like to see, and we will do our best to provide that if that's something that enough people want, um, and if there's something that we're doing that, you know, you think we should do differently or not at all. We would love to hear feedback always, always, always. But we uh, wish everybody the best of luck, and um, yeah, if you leave that in the comments, you'll let people know if you got it or not, so that uh, they don't waste their time and so that we can congratulate you for having gotten that code. But like I said, we have one pack remaining. It'll be interesting to see if this will um, help us know what direction we are trying to go in. But we start with this Chilling Trap. A Kabira Outrider. Jiraga Visionary. Another Expedition Skulker. A Deadly Alliance. This is our first one of these in a while. Highborn Vampire. Dauntless Unity, Strength of Solidarity, a Royal Eruption, whew, a Stonework Pack Beast, a Vastwood Surge is our first uncommon. Nice, that's a good one. A Sure-Footed Infiltrator is the second. And an Umara Wizard, okay, is the third, which flips into an Umara Skyfalls. And so, our last Rare or Mythic in this kit, does it help us at all? is... Ah, it does not. It is a myriad construct. I mean, with that last uncommon, it seems like, you know, I don't know. I, I would do... I'm leaning towards blue-red spells, but I'm always willing to hear other opinions in the comments, as always. Behind it, we have just a swamp and another flip indicator card. That's a lot of flip cards. Okay. I mean, obviously, I'm going to leave you looking at our mythic that we got because that's a thing that happened, and that's really cool. So feel free to enjoy looking at that mythic as I close out this video. Please feel free, as I said, to let me know in the comments what kind of a deck you would have made. Like I said, at the end there, I kind of started to lean more towards blue-red spells, blue-red spells and wizards, basically. Um, we got some pretty good stuff for that, but that does mean that we're kind of leaving out you know, Felidar Retreat and Legion Angel, like a lot of our rares. It, 
I'm not really sure. I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm willing to be swayed. Um, if you know, if you want to say like, hey, that Felidar retreat's insane, just use your roiling regrowth and all that other stuff. Uh, I, like I said, I, I'm open to those suggestions. But that is where I'm leaning is that I think blue-red spells would probably have the best chance, but... Uh, yeah, who's to say? I would love to hear from you in the comments. Along with commenting, you can do all the other fun YouTube stuff. You can like the video, share it, subscribe, and then ring that bell, and you'll get notifications when all of our future videos come out, as well as streams on this channel. If you have not been aware, we are streaming every Monday and Friday. Mondays are MTG Arena, so magic-themed streams, and Fridays are a little bit different. They are um, video game related streams, uh, and then those VODs go up on our Video Games for All channel afterwards, as long as I remember to do the right things. But uh, that is going to be the end of this particular video. Thank you all so very much for watching. For us here at the Geek for All family of channels, I have been Joe, and as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.